are a French company. We do breakfast pastries ready to bake. We have the aged Parmesan mini crisps. Goat milk cheese with truffles in it. Uh, you'll see products from 80 different countries. You'll see usually a couple hundred new uh, exhibitors, people who have never exhibited before. So that's a lot of the new products are coming from them. Think of a category, whether it's cheese or it's coffee or it's baby food or it's beverages, hot beverages, cold beverages, sauces, seasonings. There isn't a category that isn't touched by specialty foods. The day before the show opens, there's opportunities for the retailers, the food service buyers, and the distributors to meet one-on-one -on -one with exhibitors. We kind of call that our version of speed dating because they happen in sort of 10-minute increments. <music> Sophie Awards are given in 33 different categories, and this year in particular, we grew the number of products that we had enter in the first 31 categories by 12%. So that says there's a lot more innovation happening in this industry. An olive oil, a vinegar, pasta, you know, it's just a package on the shelf until they see the person who's manufacturing it and hear the story. And then once you hear the story, the, the product becomes more, you know, and that's how you develop customer loyalty. It's pretty convenient to be able to come to one place and be able to see so many things and be able to taste them and talk with the people who make them. People who've gone to the fancy food show in New York, and I've been for a couple of years, I think we'll be surprised at what they can find here. A brand new convention center, easy to walk from our hotels to our convention center, a very user-friendly, visitor-friendly transportation system, be it metro or our circulator bus. Wherever you're at with your interest, you know, whatever it is that, that brought you to the fancy food show, whatever your niche is, at this point you can find that done in Washington and you can find it done very well. I used to live in New York. I used to live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I used to live in Los Angeles. This, for me, is the best town. D.C. is such an energetic town. Whether you want to go to clubs and go dancing, if you want to have a fabulous glass of wine, an incredible beer from around the world, or if you want to just try something really delicious to eat, we have it all here in D.C.